But when African men get to meet uh, Western women, I always think they are unhappy in relationships because our cultures are really different from our own cultures. Because in Africa, the women have to be submissive to us, but I know over there, it's not the same. Everybody has equal rights. And when you can maybe express your right as being a man as an African, I think you are not happy. In Cameroon, when you know that a man is the king of his house, what the man says stands. A woman has nothing to say. And uh, you getting married to an American citizen, I think it will be very difficult to get her as husband and wife. Is uh, Emily Nagy? Yeah, she always want to take the lead. You know, and I understand that this is who she is. It's a part of, like, like some of the negativity in our, you know, in our relationship, but I choose not to focus on that. So how are you going to cope with that? I'm already coping with that. We've been together for, you know, a couple of years already. I'm a kind of a man that I don't restrict my wife from doing something. It's a partnership, so we into this together. It's not like I and uh, Alushos were trying to discourage you, but just because we just want your wedding. Me here in Cameroon, I know that each time that I come back from work, my wife will put my food, my traditional meal, and put me water to bath, <laughs> and that is fine. If it's working, that's good for you. Keep going. But I focus on what is going to push us to the next level, make our relationship better. Emily, sometimes she's tough and she's being bossy and stuff like that. But I wish that my friends can understand that I'm not living in Africa. I'm living in, in America where the culture is different from what we have back home here in Cameroon. I love Emily and I don't expect her to change. But I am really hoping that during this trip, Emily will give a good impression in front of my friends.